Hi, welcome to class today. I have a Pilates, kind of a flowy class for you. I've called it a core connect because I really feel like some of the exercises are really getting into that core. Now, certainly we always do that in Pilates, but you know, in this one, I have some specific um, attention on the core. So we'll actually start standing in this class. So when you're ready, you can come to the, the bottom of your mat standing. just find a parallel position with your feet i'm pretty sure you cannot see the top of me but that's fine just imagine it so let's roll the shoulders up and back three times and really working from the scapula and just getting getting a little bit of awareness in that upper back two more and one more and now reach your arms up towards the ceiling and you'll reach through one side of your body as if you were actually reaching for something up there and then the other side reach through the other side of your body and one more time on each side so really stretch through now come to the middle and you'll just curve around something bend your knees Curving around a large ball all the way down to the floor without resting on the floor. And then on your exhale, you'll roll through your spine, vertebra by vertebra. I think I have to move my microphone a little bit. As you come up, you will roll down vertebra by vertebra through your spine one more time. You can bend your knees or keep your knees straight. That's up to you. Do not lean onto the floor, just let your arms rest there. And then exhale to roll back up. <sighs> Widen your chest at the top. Beautiful, let's do that again. Reach through the arms and then reach from side to side, through the body four times. Really feel that extension in between each vertebra of your spine. And then you find center and you curve around something to hollow out your, your abdomen. Reach down, beautiful curve in the spine. Exhale to roll up vertebra by vertebra. Tip your tailbone down to the floor. And as you come up, you'll now chin to chest and roll down. So you see the first time we uh, curved around something to get down and the second time, we do it um, bit by bit, piece by piece. Last one, just breathe the arms up towards the ceiling and reach through maybe a little bit faster this time as we're waking up. Our body is now <laughs> prepared to move and now reach around a large ball, curve through all the way down. Exhale to roll up. And one more roll down. And this time you'll find the floor with your hands and you'll just walk out. Come to your hands and knees. Push that floor away. And we'll just activate our core further. So lift one arm parallel to the floor and then find the floor again. Other side, lift it up and find the floor. Let's keep going. So this is not really um, an arm exercise, a tricep exercise. It's a core stabilizing exercise. So as you lift off one of your points of contact, you'll find that you have to kind of um, really activate your core to stay in the middle of your body. Can you feel that? So really draw the navel to the spine. Let's do only one more on each side. I have to be careful not to get <laughs> lost in talking, talking and talking. All right, tuck your toes under now and let's just hover the knees just a centimeter off the floor. And then you'll step one foot out to plank, the other foot out to plank, and then slowly lift your pelvis up. And if you want to, you can release your heels here. That's fine. And let's just come back to that hover. So find the hover again. You really have to bring the navel to the spine, right? <laughs> Step one foot out, other foot out, 
and lift your pelvis up slowly, 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 and release your heels. And then come back to that hover, beautiful wave through the spine. All right, step one foot out and the other and lift up. See if you can bring that hollowing of your lower abdomen up into that triangle. So you're keeping that hollow all the way through as you wave through to a plank or back to hollow. All right, let's step one foot out, the other foot out. And bring that hollow up. So suck your navel in. And release your heels. Beautiful. All right, let's check our core here as well. So just take your arm um, away or <laughs> lift it up behind you. Don't take your arm away. <laughs> lift the opposite arm behind you so again parallel to, to your body or parallel to the floor so you see how you have to like rearrange your body not to fall on your face and we're trying to minimize um the shifting of the weight so by pushing the floor away through your remaining three limbs that's going to help you but it ultimately is about your core strength last one all right and let's now release the heels to the mat again and you'll lean all the way down uh, or back onto your heels just a short little breath here and then we'll just move through that spine again coming back to a tabletop so releasing just a little bit opening of the chest here and then resting back not resting back but leaning back uh, again three more rolling through warming up that spine but really bringing that hollowing of the lower abdomen through that wave two and let's do only one more all right let's find that beautiful position again on our hands and knees and we'll do a one-legged cat so extend one leg behind you and maybe lift it off the floor as well and on your exhale you'll bring that knee to your chest so you can curve your back or you can uh, just move the leg that's that's fine both ways exhale on the in what did i say extend on the inhale <laughs> and then bring the knee to the chest on the exhale four more so again as we take one limb off the floor we're going to work even harder with stabilizing and keeping ourselves in the middle of our body and let's do one more and now hold that knee to the chest really curve your back and you can grab a hold of your leg and push it or draw it even closer to your chest so really try to find again that hollow that core really curving through your lower back and then gently release and see if you can release all the way to one side so just opening up to the side here and maybe even extending the arm and just giving yourself lengthening at the front front of your hip <sighs> all right activate your core again really find the floor with your foot i have to adjust a little bit here all right let's step the uh, bottom leg now to a plank so step it behind the other leg then coming back down and then bring your elbow to your knee like so and extend so you step the foot behind the other foot hand down elbow to knee and extend we go again step hand down nice and controlled and up and step and down and control and go two more really push the floor feel how the side 
of your, your obliques are really working here, both your bottom side and the top side. This was the last one, all right? From here, you'll just set both your knees down and come up onto your knees. I'll just turn. I don't like having my back to you, but you can just stay wherever you end it off. Open up at the front here, hands behind your head, and then push the back of your head into your hands. Really open up your elbows, and you're going to lift up and over to one side. Exhale to come back up. Up and over to the opposite side. And exhale. Come back up. Let's go. Six more. So make sure that you are really reaching up and over. And three, and two, last one. This time we're going to uh, go up and over and then reach, crossing over. So really engaging that oblique. Come back and up. Let's go up and over and cross and back and back only four more cross and open and lift and go and cross and open and lift two more make sure that you're activating your exhale as you lift up it's going to help you this was the last one all right, let's come back to all fours. We'll repeat all of that to the other side. So extend through the opposite leg and lift it off the floor on your exhale, knee to chest. Again, make sure that you're keeping your weight in the middle, so in between all of your standing points. We have six more. And five. Four. Push that four away. Keep your chin slightly in. Only two more. This is the last one. So bring that knee in and really hollow your abdomen. And then you can grab a hold of that knee and really push it into your chest. So you can feel it in your lower back. You're extending, kind of stretching out your lower back as well. And release, and release, extend away, and keep extending as you turn. Maybe you'll extend through that uh, same arm as well. Ah, and then you'll just activate the core, Shh. bring everything in front of you again, step that foot or find the floor with your foot, and you're just going to step the other foot behind you, and then back, and knee to elbow, and extend, let's go, you have five. <sighs> Knee to elbow, and extend, Ooh, keep your balance. <laughs> Four, <laughs> extend. Knee to elbow, extend. And three, push the floor away. Try to keep your weight at the same spot, it's kind of hard. <sighs> And we only have one more. One. Da, da. And knee to elbow. Extend. Come back to your high kneeling or onto your knees again. This time you're going to extend your arms in front of you. And you'll reach through your sit bones and just sit back to a squat. And then lift up. So really draw that navel in here. Lift up as you go back and come back up. We have six more. Reach through your sit bones and come up. Long neck and spine. Five. And four. And three. And two. 
and last one let's stay here and we'll just backstroke our arms so one um alternating arms <laughs> let's do four and three and two long neck one and let's come back up and we'll just transition to our glutes so come to the front of your mat and swing your legs and sit tall like so all right let's begin by engaging that navel to the spine again we'll uh, curve the spine but without compressing the spine so on the exhale navel to spine and begin curving your back but you're kind of curving around something as we did at the beginning of class and inhale to just come back so i'm not tilting my weight back as you have noticed exhale curve through the spine but lengthen the spine as well and inhale come up so this time i'm going to do that engage curve and then uh, and then i'll tip my weight just ever so slightly behind me come back with your weight keep that hollowing maybe you cannot see much here <laughs> and extend at the top okay again exhale draw the navel to the spine curve through the spine long neck and then tilt a little bit back tilt your pelvis ever so slightly come back from your tilt and extend at the top we'll do one more exhale navel to spine curve long neck a lot of room in between your vertebras and then tilt back and you'll keep tilting keep curving keep sucking that navel in super controlled meet the floor with one little bone at the time don't tip just slowly 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 all right beautiful and you'll bring the knees towards your chest i'll just adjust on the mat all right and then lift your knees away from your chest to a tabletop here and uh, rest your hands onto your thighs so i am uh, squeezing everything together here now i'm going to push i have a neutral back here so don't push your lower back into the floor just keep it neutral so i'm pushing my legs into my hands and then i'm resisting <laughs> with my hands all right let's hold that so keep breathing but push those legs towards you Feel how your core is really activating here and relax. <sighs> Two more times. Push the legs into your hands. Activate that core. Really feel the deep core <sighs> and relax. Ah, one more. Exhale. <sighs> Activate. Push the legs into your hands. Try to relax your chest. Keep breathing and relax beautiful arms come behind your head or hands behind your head rather now you're going to push your elbows into the floor feel that beautiful activation in between your scapulas here push also the head into your hands just so that you're not releasing your neck all right let's toe tap one leg down and then it just floats back up other side toe tap and bring it up so i'm keeping my spine neutral here if you have any troubles with your lower back you want to maybe push it into the floor and also not go as far down with your leg so you can stay here for example or not even uh, that far just make sure that you're not letting go of your um your abdomen you're not arching through your lower back <sighs> All right, I have no idea how many we've done, <laughs> but that's okay. We're just working out. <sighs> All right, let's do one more. Beautiful. We'll now bring the knees closer to the chest and then i'll extend away from my body i'm turning out my legs here all right into the chest so feel how your lower back is now into the floor keep that lower back into the floor 
and again into the chest and away four more into the chest and away so when you bring them into your chest see how you almost have maybe you can tip your pelvis just ever so slightly and extend and bring them in activate your core tip your pelvis up if you can keep pushing those elbows into the floor don't let it go all right maybe we have two more <laughs> i don't remember and extend and the last one extend surprise let's stay here lift your chest if you can Whew. all right let's bring one leg down to the floor and then as that leg comes up you'll bring your chest down okay other side so lift your chest one leg down to the floor Ooh, keep extending through your legs and come down all right keep those elbows nice and wide use your exhale only six more and coming down all right four if you're shaking that's good it means you're working three and two and last one and then bring those legs away from your body again you'll lift your chest here and you'll just do sort of a crisscross with um well you're just crossing <laughs> over your legs let's go <laughs> come on six five Woohoo! Three, four, <laughs> three, <laughs> uh, two, and one. All right, let's bring everything in and then very slowly rest your upper body as well. <sighs> let go, let go in your chest. You can look from side to side just once, just to release your neck if you got tired. One more. Yeah. I don't know, I'm kind of a mess today <laughs> with the talking and explaining in class. All right, let's release the legs, find the floor and with the soles of your feet, bring your arms just uh, down along your sides and we'll do a little bit of pelvic curl. So on your exhale, press your lower back into the floor engage your uh, navel to the spine and begin slowly lifting your pelvis up really curving through that spine ah, and you'll work yourself back again bone by bone so we were working so much um, on the on the c curve as we were seated about that rolling through the spine really apply that now from this position navel to spine push the lower back into the floor and then lift up <sighs> bone by bone maybe if you're shaking in, in your lower back you can use even more time breathe even deeper more breath just see whatever you need it's really hard to articulate the lower back a lot of us are kind of stiff stiff there or maybe we we have some pain we want to be very um say detailed or precise so we can build our awareness all right we'll only do one more and then we'll stay up there and do some fun stuff. <laughs> Do one more. And then stay here. Release one leg off the floor. All right, again, you have to rearrange your body here. And we'll just toe tap from this position. Seven more. Push the floor with that opposite leg. 
No, five, four, three, two, you can do it, one more, and release your leg to the floor, push up even more, and then begin at the top of your spine, roll down, vertebra by vertebra, super slow in between, we'll only do one, one more pelvic curl, and then we'll do the same thing with the opposite leg. So make your way up, slowly, slowly, slowly. And then just float that opposite leg off the floor. And we'll tap eight, seven. So nice and slow, but more than slow, it's like a sustained movement. So you're moving in something thick. You're not flinging your leg around. You're controlling your leg without ten tensing <laughs> too much. Two more. All right, last one. And the leg just floats back down, meet the floor softly, and then lift up again, release at the front of your hips. And then beginning the top of your spine make your way down vertebra by vertebra all right beautiful all right let's now lift the chest up grab a hold of the back of your legs again maybe you want to lift your knees off the floor also so engage your lower abdomen we're going to do the opposite of when we roll down. I'm just going to uh, tip my legs towards the floor and then just curve all I can in my lower back. <sighs> Exhale and allow myself to tip over, but super controlled. <sighs> Beautiful. Let's just open the legs here and just release. Ah, give yourself a little. Little pause here, little opening on the hips. And then roll through the spine. Swing your legs behind you and come to all fours. All right, let's tuck the toes under and you'll hover the knees. <laughs> And now you'll very slowly lift your pelvis up to a triangle. And we'll just flow through this last exercise. So make a beautiful wave through your spine to plank. And then hover your knees. And then lift up. So reaching through your sit bones and to a triangle so see if you can make a little dance out of this beautiful way forward just moving through each position hover the knees and then lift your pelvis up extend through your knees and release your heels again lift up beautiful wave hover the knees and then push your weight up and back through that bent knee position, release your heels one more time, you guys. Beautiful wave. Hover those knees and push your weight back. Arch through that spine. Beautiful. Let's stay here for three breaths. Long neck and spine, long back side of the legs. One more breath. And then walk your hands back towards your feet. Nice and slow. And just as we did at the beginning of class, let's roll up vertebra by vertebra through your spine. Open the chest wide and roll down. And just one more time, roll up. And 
and this time I'm going to turn to one side and I'll roll down over that one leg. So bending my knees, just relaxing over that one side. And then coming back up. Feel how you really get a hold of that side there. And then just make like a rainbow at the top here. And twist over to the other side and relax over, melting down towards the floor. Bend your knees if you want to. And come back up again. All right, we'll do one just regular <laughs> roll down and up. Maybe you can keep your knees straight this time. Or you can bend them and come back up. Bring your elbows or no, your shoulders, excuse me, with you. Three and two and one. Thank you for joining me today. Please do subscribe to my channel and I'll see you here next time. Bless you. Ciao.